your nose. If you guys are pumpkin freaks like me, <laughs> I'm sure that you've been hearing and seeing all the posts, videos about like the pumpkin offerings at Trader Joe's. You guys, a little bit of a pumpkin freak, so you know I had to go check it out for myself. So this is a little quick haul of some of the pumpkin things that I got from Trader Joe's today. Of course, say his hair because him likes a pumpkin treat too. I got these tortilla chips, pumpkin tortilla chips, might I add. So let's see, craft it with, sorry about that, you guys fell over because I'm a super lazy bumpkin. It's a miracle that I put on a face for you guys today. Check out the face, check out the face. A little pumpkin liciousness going on, mm-hmm. I'm gonna turn that other set of string lights right there. Hopefully you guys don't fall again. Ta-da! <laughs> we have got crafted with simple ingredients including pumpkin puree, pumpkin seeds, cinnamon, and nutmeg. And to go with the pumpkin tortilla chips, not that, not that. The fall harvest salsa, autumnal melange of fruits and veggies, including pumpkin, apples, and butternut squash. Fire roasted tomatillos, red bell peppers, jalapeno, lime juice. Mm. It's harvest-centered elements like apples and butternut squash, excellent for dipping all kinds of chips and veggies, and a sweet, spicy companion to everything from burritos and tacos to scrambled egg and cheeseburgers. We're gonna find out. Okay, so while digging in the bag, I see that I have like two non-pumpkin things. I just got some butter almond thins. And I love the Jess Mango slices, unsulfured and unsweetened. Just dried mango, so good. I have to watch how many I eat because I'll run through a bag of this in no time. Back on the pumpkin train. Of course, I had to grab the pumpkin butter. I love pumpkin butter, you guys. Love it so much. So this will be super yummy on toast. What else do you guys use pumpkin butter on? If you're a fan of pumpkin butter, let me know in the comments what else I can like top with this yummy deliciousness. Oh, one more non-pumpkin thing. I got the spicy chai tea latte mix. I used to get this back in the day. Long, long time ago, many, many moons ago. So love this, super easy. I believe you just add water or like milk or nut milk. Let's see. For a hot chai latte, one scoop or three tablespoons with six ounces of, six ounces of hot water. Cold chai latte, mix one scoop or three tablespoons with two ounces of hot water, pour over eight ounces of ice, then add two ounces of cold water or milk. And I usually make mine with almond milk. So it's still very hot here in Southern California. So this will be good little ice chai I can make at home. Wish they had pumpkin. I swear back in the day they had pumpkin ones, but I didn't see any when I went, just this one. Can I just say, I would love the pumpkin ice cream. I didn't get it because I had a lot of running around to do and I didn't want it to be left in the car and it just would have been totally melted by the time I got home. But I do plan on going back for that. When I go back for one of the other things that I got, that I'll talk to you about in just a second. So these aren't pumpkin flavored, but they're Halloween themed. So it's the Trader Joe's Ghost and Bat Crispy Potato Snacks. Gluten-free little treat here. So you can see that, you guys. Little ghosties and little bat shapes. Oh, you guys, you can't see it in there. So, so cute. Little ghost and little bat. Boogie boogie. Also grabbed a box of the Pumpkin Jojo's. So I'm assuming this is just like a sandwich cream cookie, but with pumpkin filling for the season. Ooh, excited. They also had the ones that look like the Oreos, the chocolate cookie with the orange icing, but this is more my speed. I'm a total tea drinker, you guys, so when I saw the pumpkin spice Rubio's, I had to grab a tin of this. Let's see, how many bags? 20 sachets in here. Do, do, do. Okay, Trader Joe's pumpkin beverage is warm and inviting, invoking nostalgic memories of autumn with every sip. A carefully selected blend of Rubio's is combined with the natural pumpkin flavor, cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves create a naturally aromatic 
wonderfully flavorful beverage. Delicately pack it in pyramid shaped sachets. I haven't had this one. If you guys have had it, let me know. I am a tea freak, so hopefully this is yummy too. And because I'm greedy, and of course I went out into the world without having a bite to eat, and I was starving, I had tons of running around and Halloween decor hunting to do. I had to grab a little snack so I wouldn't get too sick, so I grabbed these fruit leather buttons, grape mango flavored, they're organic. I don't know if you guys have had these, but I grabbed two, they were by the register. And oh my gosh, they totally remind me of fruit roll-ups from back in the day, but they're like little circles that you peel off of the paper. And I need to go back and get more of these and to find out if they have other flavors because it was so delicious and a yummy little snack. And this whole pack is only 50 calories. Can't beat that. And super happy surprise that I just happened to see you guys was Trader Joe's pumpkin rolls with pumpkin spice icing. Oh my goodness, looks so good. I've been wanting to get the Pillsbury ones and hoping that I saw them in store. I was gonna get them at Target because I knew I had to go today, but then I saw online that wasn't available for buy online pickup in store, so I figured I'd have to order it. Whatever, long story short, when I saw these, I had to grab them. Hopefully these are good. The lady that checked me out, the cashier, said she absolutely loves these. They're delicious, so I am so excited to wake up Saturday morning, Sunday morning, whatever, and crack these bad boys open and give them a try. And now, you guys, the main thing that I went to Trader Joe's for. Been hearing about, been seeing about, all over the internet. The candy corn popcorn, you guys. And people saying that they didn't get any last year, and oh my gosh, they went this year and they had it, so they grabbed it. So, of course, my gritty self grabbed three bags, as you can see. <laughs> one was open during all my running around and driving all over town that I did today and let me tell you guys the hype is real the cashier was telling me that it was and she was saying that they'll get like a stock in and last year only last like two weeks and there was no more so I'm going to be going back and picking up a few more because this is absolutely delicious yes it's sweet very sweet but if you're a fan of candy corn or if you just like the candy popcorn in general like kettle corn type vibe ish things then I think you'll totally like this one so 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 good you guys so good crunchy kernels of popcorn covered in a sweet coating that tastes like candy corn and yes yes it does so delicious so delicious <sighs> so that is it you guys that is all for my Trader Joe's haul. So if you guys have tried any of these, let me know below in the comments like how they are, what you like, what you hate, and for my little mini haul, if there were any items that you guys are going to go and search for. <sighs> That's it, you guys. I'm going to put all of my little snacks away. Maybe. Crack these two open and give it a go feeling kind of snackish. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.